Victoria Dweck, and this is 4 Amazing Dishes You Can Make Using Balsamic Glaze. The first thing I'm going to make today is a gorgeous zucchini and tomato balsamic glaze tart. Roll your dough nice and thin to a square, trim the edges if you need, and using a knife make a border around the perimeter of your puff pastry dough, and then using a fork, prick the inside. This will keep the inside nice and flat while the crust pops up. Sprinkle the inside with a half a cup of parmesan and then layer on zucchini and tomatoes. You can really use whichever veggies you like. Finally, I'm going to sprinkle with salt and basil and some cooking spray and pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes until the crust is nice and golden. And the last necessary touch for my balsamic glaze tart is the balsamic glaze. Balsamic glaze goes perfectly with anything that includes a bruschetta topping. Saute some onions, garlic, tomatoes, capers, some fresh parsley, salt and pepper, and a nice spoon of Dijon. Top your fish and drizzle with balsamic glaze. Now I'm going to use the balsamic glaze to make a really easy side dish. I'm going to roast some vacuum sealed beets, sprinkle with some cooking spray salt and thyme, drizzle the whole dish with balsamic glaze. Now right when the beets come out of the oven, grate the goat cheese over them so the heat will melt the cheese. If you want the goat cheese to grate easily, stick it into the freezer for a few minutes before grating. You can also keep in parv and skip the cheese. And serve alongside some greens. Our last dish is some balsamic glazed veggie and halloumi skewers. I'm going to mix my veggies and halloumi cubes with the marinade. Skewer and then cook in the frying pan for about 4 minutes on each side. Finally, drizzle your skewers with that necessary balsamic glaze. Join me next time for four more amazing things.